its slices. It looks uh, exactly like mine. Uh. Yes, the only difference is I get customers. Fuck you! Uh. You refused to serve our viewers, so I did something about it. You have ripped up me off. Uh. Hey, remember when I visited your pizzeria for the first time? Uh. Uh. 800 likes, and I'll call the health inspector on Dom DeLuise's pizzeria next week. What's happening, everybody? I am Mike Goldroots, and welcome back to NASCAR 15 season. Michael, you are the center of your universe. You are your own god. You can make this happen today. Believe deep breath. <gasps> it has been a hell of a day, ladies and gents. I'll spare you the sloppy details, but basically it boils down to this. My air conditioning system died. Them shits aren't cheap. I am going to relax myself today with some NASCAR 15. Mmm, sounds like a great idea. Especially if we're basing off what we had last week at Bristol. We weren't very good at Bristol. Yeah, we ran around the back quite a lot. We got a lot of damage and stuff, and we just, we weren't competing. We sucked pretty bad. Now, this isn't directly related to the sucking, but we ended up making a pit stop that put us three laps down. I got one of those laps back on the track, but then the caution fell and trapped us two laps down. From there, through a series of yellow yellow flags, which there were a crap ton of them, I eventually was able to get myself back on the lead lap, but there were only a few laps remaining. Yeah, once we got back on the lead lap, there wasn't much time left, but we were able to drive ourselves up through the field a bit a ways. I was able to stay out of the ruckus, and we somehow managed the top 10 with a car that did not belong there. We have had it rough on the short tracks, which makes me quite weary about Richmond today. But with that ninth place at Bristol that we were able to put up, we put up a bunch more points at second place. Bushy Bushy is down on us by 43. We're getting to the like, almost to the point where we have a full race lead on everybody. And yet again, the points got reset and everybody is in their correct positions at the moment. So Bushy's actually in second. Jimmy is actually in third. Denny Hamster and T-Rex round out the top five. Redneck Jesus won last week, so he's secured his spot in the chase. Last in at the moment is Old Man Bushy by one over Booby Labonte, by two over Rogaine Smith, and by two over Carl's Jr., actually. Now, what's interesting here about Old Man Bushy, while he is in at the moment, there's a guy waiting back here, just waiting to ruin things for him. He goes by the name of Sideburn Fever. So while Old Man Bushy is in at the moment, he's got the last spot in on points. Sideburn Fever could so easily change that if he could just find a way to get four measly points and plop himself back in the top 30. If he were to do that, find his way into the top 30, then his win would count again, and he would be in the chase, the playoffs, what have you. Things have not gone well for Sideburn Fever since that win in Atlanta. Things have not gone well for McDouche since he was born. He was just born an asshole. To be honest, he might have been born out of an asshole because he is shit. I'm not looking at it. I'm gonna wait to be surprised at the track. My paint scheme for the day! With all the shits that I've had going on today, I do not believe that a Richmond race that I usually struggle at when it comes to the Eutechnic saga is what the doctor prescribed. I hate it here. We just, we're never good at Eutechnic's Richmond. I don't know what EA Sports Richmond I was dynamite at all the time. I love some EA Sports Richmond, but then, but then they made Richmond in this, and then they made Richmond in the 704 games NASCAR heats. I hated those too. I have not liked Richmond for a really long time. But I guess I'm just gonna have to deal with it. 60 laps, I think, is the amount of laps I'm gonna have to get through today. Can I get through it again? I'm just hoping for a top 10 with the way our short track racing has been. I would be grandiose. What? With a top 10 finish out of this race today. Let's see if I can get it. Let's get this video started. Let's go! I have not seen this scheme yet. Murph made it last night. Oh my God. Wow! It 
says T-Mobs, like T-Mobile. All right, so let me give you the rundown why I'm being sponsored by T-Mobile. It's because the only way I'm able to get my streams, my live streams to work now, is by using a T-Mobile hotspot because the actual wiring coming into my house, that internet is shit. So now the joke is that I'm being sponsored by T-Mobile and Murph turned to, link to his channel down in the description. He made me a paint scheme. It's awesome. Like all of Murph Turns paint schemes are. T moves, that shit's just funny. Gas can water on the side, the fruit store on the side. T Mobile, what? Because Optimum sucks. Yeah! Yeah! Optimum is my actual internet provider when I don't have a hot spot. Fuck you, Optimum. You ran the back bumper every lap of this race. Is this a night race? If it's gonna be a night race, I'm gonna be all stealthy like. I'm gonna be sneaking up on the competition and take the positions away from them. Who am I kidding? This is Richmond. I'm not gonna be taking any positions. Hello, everyone. Mike Joy, Daryl Waltrip, and Fox Sports welcoming you to tonight's coverage of the Capital City 400 from Richmond. Mike, most of the drivers consider this track to be their favorite. They love racing here. They like the open spaces that you have in the corners. You kind of get two or three wide. It's fast, but not too fast. Close, yeah, maybe too close. Boy, that curving front straightaway, that takes its toll. It does, Mike. It wears you out. This place is a lot more physical than it looks like. When they started here in the early 50s, this was a half-mile dirt track. Now at three-quarters of a mile with a looping front straightaway, many drivers say this is the perfect combination of short track and super speedway. Let's find out. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Let's go racing on a three-quarter mile track, boys and girls. Thank you, Daryl. Everyone here in the night race at Richmond is just going to see pink streaks whizzing by their car. We're going to be so fast. You know the last time I saw pink streaks was after I ate some peeps. And I had to rush to the bathroom. We're underway at Richmond. Well, that wasn't a great beginning i don't really know who i'm going to be streaking by it doesn't seem many people are going to be slower than me tonight i don't like it here optimum sucks well so does this track can't turn for one thing oh look at that see i knocked all the brake bias out of the car in qualifying i'm happy to see that we reversed that because why listen to the driver no it also sucks aside from richmond and optimum is this beard? What has it been, two months? If that stick is completely gone. It's basically being clung to my Outside. face because the sideburns are being held up oh, right. by my headset. We have major, what are Hello. you doing? Go down, caution down. I mean, the motherfucker, I was trying, I was gonna go to the bottom. You see this? I was gonna go to the bottom. He went down to the bottom. And then it was like my, front bumper, his back bumper. There was some sticky residue on his Napa bumper that I could not let go of. I don't even know if I pit here. I don't know what the hell I could do to this car to make it better. I think we just suck on the short tracks. I have to see if I can try to find a rhythm here, get comfortable, and really figure out what this car needs to make its way to the front. Oh, we're pushing, we are pushing so bad up into Mikey Walnuts. 98, 31, uh, they got the fresh tires, it seems it. This beard is, I don't like it, it's not attached to my face anymore. I think all these had fresh tires. I think that's part of the reason why they're smoking me. Also because we're just not good. Before William Clyde put all that glue on his back bumper, I don't know, I was kind of starting to think that I was moving forward and I was, again, we're gonna have another one. Nah, no, save it, 26 car, I don't want another yellow flag. We're good with him. 26 car is all right, he's fine. If this stays green long enough, maybe we can start picking them up, laying them down, moving forward. He killed all the barrels! NASCAR never misses an opportunity to throw a yellow flag. There is a big old mess in turn four. Surprise that they haven't hit the caution button yet. That is, that is bad. I, that, that barrel could get launched off of someone's front bumper and kill one of these paying spectators. That's one less person to buy your merchandise, NASCAR. That's not a smart monetary move. Pretty short race as usual here at Richmond. Only 60 laps. I gotta... I gotta wear my headset like that. My ear isn't over there. So we have limited time to work on the race car, make it better. Maybe I really should have pitted on that one yellow. I'm gonna take tire pressure out of this thing. I'm gonna take wedge out of this thing. Whenever we make that first pit stop, which probably shouldn't be that far off into the future, 
Because tires wear something fierce. If we have green flag pit stops out of this AI, and they start driving off. through those barrels, I think the 46 is about to do it. I'm gonna slow down just to see what the hell he does. He's actually going really slow, but this... On the bottom, three back. Close it on the bottom. Whoa, caution's out, caution's out. I mean, just to see that, that was funny. And the, tw the 25 and I, ow! <laughs> it was all worth it. I gotta fix my beard and we gotta fix this car. We gotta get down pit road. They didn't even, what the fuck? Okay, let's get this stuff. We're making, I'm running, right. what? That cannot be safe for the pit crews. Now NASCAR is gonna have to pay for that pit crew member's coffin. Three right. wide at Richmond, because right. that's safe. He's in the wall. Kids in, kids in. I think Giggles Logano put him there. Oh, shit! I saw a blue car. They're getting into it, man. It was Chuba. Chuba stuffed it into the fence, exiting turn. They're all stuffing it in the fence. Four wide. Yeah. Wall pop might be coming. This is my opportunity to make up as many spots as I can. More people in the wall, more in the fence. Slowing down, checking up that outside line. I'm getting into the ass end of Gilligan. Oh my god! This place is nuts! What are they doing? Are they making... I saw someone go real low! I'm doing all this being and banging! I'm still in the 40s! What is going... There are cars everywhere! We got pit stops happening! Three wide, two high. We're up to 35th! We... God damn it, Star! You stupid sack of shit! What would possess you to slow down right then and there? I just, I was gassing it up. He was freaking slowing down. We're on the straightaway. That's when you go, oh, I don't know, fast. We got some track position. A lot of people pinning. I don't know if I should have been one of those people. First time we've managed to crack the 20s. Oh my God. I'm like the unlucky son of a bitch. The first one on old tires. They are swarming me. I need the bug be gone. What the f what the fuck is this? There are cars everywhere! I'll make it five wide. I ain't afraid. I made it five wide at Richmond. Holy shit! Three wide, three wide. Oh my god! There goes McDouche! Yeah, that was like a ticking time bomb. We done blowed up Richmond. Look at that! I made McDouche! Uh, you know what happened, McDouche? We stuck the bomb in his ass. And someone hit the detonate button. This time I feel I should pick because I wasn't going anywhere. Yeah, Starting yeah. from the bottom guys. again. Car is just so damn tight. I can't get it to corner for the life of me. If I can keep it around the bottom, man, I could next some good, good spots, but they're all doing their nonsense. Just keep it, slow it down, slow, slow, slow it down. Take it easy. But now there's no, where the hell is the good, good speed up off? Moves Motorsport, what kind of bullshit engines we building? There is absolutely nothing. I got nothing coming out of these quarters. It sucks. It is so slow. It is so fucking slow. I just, I, you see how they drive away from me? I gotta do my... Ah! Welcome to Michael Moves Mid-Race. Report presented by Gas Can Water, McDouche! I'll blow you up again! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. McDouche, I, I have a, you know, McDouche, you're pushing it! You're pushing it! I hate this car. This thing is a piece of shit. It doesn't want to do anything I want it to do. No matter how much I loosen this fucking thing up. I mean, okay, it turns a little bit better, but it has no speed in it. It is so slow! That's gonna make the second half of this race look at that a hell of a lot like the first half. This is probably so far through a half of the race, my least favorite race that we have run. We can do this. It is a real challenge out here. Maybe, somehow, maybe as they're smoking them, I'll figure out something. Second half, we're coming to 26 to go, and I can, I can make something out of this race, get a few spots. Maybe we can pit strategize our way up near the front. I don't know. Guess we'll see. I don't have good feelings. This has been Michael Moves the Mid-Race Report presented by Gas Can Water. Some pit stops are happening. I got this this fucking thing. I can see it out of the corner of my fucking eye. It's driving me nuts. Some pit stops. I don't know why you'd be making pit stops now. I don't know what strategy some of these guys are on. I don't know what strategy I'm on. I have no clue how long I... 
What a goddamn asshole. What? The son of a bitch cuts me off when he knows clearly that I am there! I mean, I... I, I <laughs> this race is the epitome of my internet struggles that I've had at this house. Do I pit again? I, I don't know. What else can I do? It's just slow. I don't think you can fix slow. This car's got like bad juju attached to it. My internet juju has followed me into the game. Oh my fucking god. This is pathetic. As they go four wide again up the road, like I should be able to capitalize on that, but I'm just not able to. Really should look to pay back camp. Everyone is testing my patience. Jeff Gordon Ramsay needs a payback. Denny Hamster needs a payback. Who else? I'm making a list. Are they six wide right now? I swear to you, I could have swore I just saw six. What the hell are all these cars doing in front of me? We're fine. I thought I was going to smoke it right into Outback Stenhouse's ass. But we're still good. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. I'm in the top 20. That easily. Just because I kept it around the bottom and they were all five wide. When they're all five wide like that and you keep it around the bottom, all you got to do is pass like five cars and then you gain 20 spots. See if McDouche would have yielded. None of that would have happened. Well, that'll work as a little bit of your payback, Hamster. I think you still deserve more, though. Is that... The power lines are back! Is this shit in every Eutechnics game here at this track where the power lines fall? Entering three, I gotta pay. Every single Eutechnics game? Them shits were electrified! My beard... This isn't even a beard anymore, it's a chin strap! The sideburn is up on my forehead! That's gonna be every lap for me now. My teeth are gonna be glowing bright blue by the end of the race. Look at this, you said, look at this! Look at this! This motherfucker doesn't even stick anymore! I think that damn beard is just holding me back! Now I can focus! Now I don't gotta think about a fake beard! Hey, wow! I actually... If you want to know what I was about to say, I'll tell you what I was about to say. I was about to say, hey, it handled pretty well in that corner. The safety crews are clear of the track. The road's open. All I can do is attempt to keep it around the bottom, loosen it up a great deal. It doesn't feel that bad right now, but that could change. You never know when these tires start to wear out. Oh, wow, everybody's in the wall. If we can get some more of that four or five wide stuff, maybe I can find my... If I can find my... I'll be the top 20 again. So far, it's working. So far, we're passing people. I'm sorry, Booby! To be 100% honest with you, and I just ran my fastest lap of the race, I might have fixed it. This thing's actually handling pretty well. And we actually have some speed with them exiting the corners. I'm gonna have to remember this setup for when we come back here later in the season. We got, like, no time, though. To make up any sort of fucking ground here. And I don't know if it's perfect. It's just the best that we've had. Oh, you suck. You piece of shit! Uh, oh, fuck you! Yeah, you see what it fucking feels like, huh? Ah. Ah. This is all because of you, Bushy. P-Brave, don't come barking up my tree. It was Bushy's fault. Okay, now it's starting to get really loose. This is bad. I don't know what the fuck. I don't know what to think. I hate it here. It's like as soon as the tires started to show any signs of wear, the handling went to absolute garbage, but we stayed out and gained an unbelievable amount of track position. 
Let's see what we can do with it. Let's try not to wreck. Okay, okay. I gotta be careful with the throttle. Careful. Get. I, don't be stabbing it. Wait on it. Be patient with the throttle. We're actually getting a pretty good bite up out of two. Not so much out of four. Turn two, though, is working. A lot better than it was. They're side by side for the lead up there. Good, good battle. Blanket and T-Rex. Duking it out for that win. Two laps to go. Get me the fuck out of the state of Virginia. Why are we, so, why are we slowing down? The 21 is clear to the lead. It just seemed like they were checking up a bit going off there. No more, no nonsense. Let's just get it back to the line. Blanket wants win number one. And I am happy for him if he were to do that. I went for too much. I fucked myself out of a top ten. I fucked myself out of a bunch of position. Good race today. We collect some good points. I am a shell of a man. No, I have so much like glue residue all over my face because this shit has just been plopped everywhere. My face feels like I. Feels like I just gave a motorboat to Jabba the Hutt. Fifteenth? It's really not that bad. We benefited greatly by, um, like 30 cars pitting there on the last caution. I don't know why I had to send it as deep as I did. I was gonna have a top 10 finish out of this. My balls were much bigger than my brain. Blanket gets his first career dub out at Richmond! He will race for a championship, maybe, unless we have 17 different winners. You really deserve to get fucked up. And the same goes for you. I am surrounded by bullies. There's going to be such a brawl after this race. Like, there's not going to be many drivers that aren't upset with other drivers. Like, all of pit road, I don't think there's enough security in the state of Virginia to pull us all apart from each other. Well, that's not good. Are these motherfuckers going to finish in the 30s somewhere in points? That ain't going to put you in the top 30, bud. That sucks. He was like running top 10 and I just said, no, no, you're not anymore. Thank God I got out of there with my sanity mostly intact. And with the points lead. We're sitting in the top of points lead of 54. I think I did the math right there over T-Rex. No, that's bad. Ah, the points are off. Points are all fucked up again. So it's, it's, he's in second. Hamster's in third. Tony the Tiger to my tied for... I don't even know what spot. Our race winner, the 21, is up nine positions. Not really. Add nine. Plus nine to 16 is what they want you to do. So that puts him at 25th. That's, that's a ways off from where they say he is. I don't get how some weeks it's okay and then other weeks it's not. It just, it's very confusing to be playing this game every single week. That right there is rough. That, that is hard to believe. A race winner and... He's 39th out of 43. Please tell me that next week we get to go somewhere. Uh, Talladegas. I mean, I guess it's better. I guess I'll have a better chance at competing. NASCAR 15 makes everything just so much more crazier than it actually is. If NASCAR was like this, they would never have had a ratings problem. I'm done. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. I love every single last one of you. And I'll see you in the next one. Get the fucking shit off my face. God, man!